Good morning, everyone. It is race day for the NASCAR Cup Series. Um, I am dressed in full um, NASCAR attire to celebrate. I'm looking at some interesting things from the past. So we're waiting on patch number three, right, for um, NASCAR 21 Ignition. I wanted to see in history, like I realized that Motorsports Games is not 704 games. They just acquired them. But I wanted to go back and see from the very first NASCAR Heat Evolution what the update pattern was. Like how often it happened, what was getting fixed in these patches. But maybe that'll give us an idea of what's coming because I've reached out to Motorsport Games on Twitter, Instagram, all those things. No response about a roadmap for fixes or the next patch update. Nothing. So, out of curiosity, I thought, hey, let's look at the past. Maybe that will inform the future. Um, and so you can see here on the screen, NASCAR Heat Evolution. The game itself was released on September 13th, 2016, um, which is kind of crazy it's been that long. Um, you can see in the very first update here, September 14th, they updated it the next day. So you can see here they fixed a few things. Um, interactive controller configuration tool to help users set up devices that the game did not recognize. That would be kind of nice if we could have that in a new game to configure our, our wheels and whatnot instead of just selecting it from a menu and then not working. Fix the crash that would happen if more than four devices were connected to the PC at game launch. It's interesting, is that controllers or is that just anything plugged into your computer? Because that would be a problem. Um, Post-race multiplayer crash, race intro videos, nobody really cares about that. Fixed a synchronization issue in multiplayer, and that's it. So that was the day one patch, essentially. Update two, September 16th. All right, uh, allow keyboard control and UI player as a compatible racing device. Two challenge videos. Improved pitting logic during yellow flags. We could use some of that. Replays now display position and lap number. Minor bug fixes. Oh man, look at this. Okay, so a new update now available. This would be patch number three, right? September 23rd. So not too far out. So maybe that kind of tells us about how long we can have to wait on patch number three. Cause I don't think they're gonna build it up or be like, hey, it's gonna be releasing this day. I think they're just gonna drop it. And then everybody's just gonna have to, you know, be like, oh, yay, or or it'll break the game further. Improvements to functionality and clarity of controller configuration, navigating UI with keyboard, fixed tire labels and pitting options. Indianapolis, Michigan and Pocono are set correctly for group qualifying. Fixed a performance stutter related to loading sound examples. Okay, so the next update, which would have been patch number four, Wednesday, October 12th. Okay, so that took a little while. We're well into the next month at this point. Okay, so see, here is a big one. Because right now in NASCAR 21, we're having issues with people driving backwards in lobbies in multiplayer. Um, I haven't personally seen it on PC, but apparently on console, you're having a lot of people driving backwards. Um, cars ghost out and are not collidable. That is what we need now. I mean, kicked mid-race driving backwards in hosted lobbies. Wait, so are you telling me they had private lobbies even back then, but they don't now. Fixed issues with the chase standings not being displayed correctly. That's kind of an important thing. Improved yellow flags sensitivity. Again, put that on the list of things that we could use. Season standings only shows drivers in the current season. Okay, so that's good. New engine sounds. Yeah, I remember a lot of people complaining about the engine sounds in this one too, saying they sounded like lawnmowers and, and whatnot. Um, and that is the last thing that's available here. That is the last update. Because the next game came out shortly after that. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to read this or not, but I'll kind of skim over it for you here. Um, so it looks like released in September, the game received lackluster reviews for not including enough features. So that's NASCAR Heat Evolution. NASCAR Heat 2 released September 12th, 2017. So really just a year later. And it included the Xfinity and Camping World Truck Series. And then NASCAR Heat 3, September 7th, 2018. For NASCAR Heat 5, 704 Games replaced Monster as developer and brought on Motorsports Games as publisher. The game was released in July, a departure from the traditional September date. Yeah, because this NASCAR Heat 5 is the one that was essentially a copy and paste of NASCAR Heat 4, but sort of reskinned. We all know how that went. I would look up the Heat 5 patch notes, but I don't think um, they would be really that relevant because the game was a copy and paste, and so a lot of the issues had been sorted out prior to the launch. So maybe if we look at Heat's schedule, that means that we could expect a patch within a few days. Um, or all of this could mean nothing at all. I don't know. But as bad as the game is right now, you would think that they would be putting out patches all the time. Like, I know it's a lot harder on consoles to push out these updates because they have to go through Sony and they have to go through Microsoft to get approval and all that stuff. But like, when you're on PC, 
even like if you look at Ark Survival Evolved, one of the other games I spend a lot of time in, they were cranking out updates for that game almost every other day. It's fixing little things, just throwing it out there, getting it done, getting it over with. I wish we had that. But I understand with this being a, such a console based game that uh, it has to all kind of be bundled, you know, all at once. So we're going to be waiting a little bit longer, but that's fine. Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. I'm trying to be optimistic. Honestly, part of why I'm recording the video this way is so that I don't have to play the game. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. Um, everybody go enjoy the NASCAR race today. Um, hopefully we have a good ending. Um, I'm personally rooting for obviously either Chase or Kyle Larson um, because I think Kyle Larson's earned it the most by far. My guy, Ryan Blaney, has been knocked out early. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I will suffer for you because I spent money on this game and now I'm committed. So, till next time, we'll see you later.